Okay, good morning, YouTube. You're on the air with Vanity is Fair. I hope everyone's doing well and in good spirits. It's Sunday morning. It's the next day. Okay, so yeah, it's the next day. I'm about to get a very quick car wash. And I'm trying to take advantage of the time frame because it's it's nine, what is it, almost 10 o'clock now. Hopefully it's not a lot of people up there given the fact that it's Sunday. So I'm going up here to do that. And I'm gonna get some takeout. I gotta clean out that aquarium. I keep thinking about that damn aquarium. I wanna clean it out because it just makes my living room and my dining room look so much better when it's clean and at night when the lights are on and it's like two maybe three fish swimming around it just looks nice so I need to take time out to clean it out and then also I have a Starbucks mug that I've been having for like 20 years no lie and I use it at work when I want to keep my ice cold because it keeps my ice cold. And sometimes, you know, my leftover coffee, and when it gets warm, I like to put ice in it. And so I just keep ice in that. And I don't know where it is. I'm low-key tripping. I thought I threw it away by accident. So I looked at my trash can today. And I remember the bag that I thought it was in, but it's not in that bag. So... I'm like, where in the hell is my coffee mug? I'm going to clean out my trunk after I get my car washed. Hopefully it will resurface because I like that coffee cup. Again, it's very vintage. It's a Starbucks coffee cup. It's just nice. And I've had it for a long time. Like, that's one thing about me. I hold on to stuff for a while. Like, I have a lot of stuff that I've had for over 20 years and it's still in good condition, you know? Hopefully I can find it. I made my own coffee this morning. I'm not buying any Starbucks coffee because it's too damn expensive to buy every day. So, I'll see you when I get to the car wash. Oh, let's cross our fingers. I hope I find my mug. Like, I hope I find my mug. Oh, my God. You won't believe the number of Starbucks cups and mugs and stuff I've lost and misplaced over the years. I hope I find it today. I'll check back in with you later. All right, so this is the bag of choice today. I'm just dipping out for a minute. I'm wearing my Gucci Sunnies. But I want to do a very quick what's in my bag, just for fun to kill time. I'm sitting out here in this hot sun, so I'm about to get in. Alright, so this is what's in it. These are my iPods, AirPods rather, and I need to start wearing them. I was supposed to wear them yesterday when I did the prom job, but I left them on my bed. I still have the coach tag on it because I might sell this bag. This bag retailed for $378. Of course, I didn't pay that amount, but that's what it retailed for. All right, so let's get into the contents. All right, I have a crazy glue. Crazy glue to keep those nails intact, baby. I have a MAC Dazzle Glass in Go For The Gold. I love Dazzle Glass. I love the formula. Some people think it's too sticky. I think it's perfect. I have a lighter and I have this lighter to burn off, you know, pieces of thread and whatnot that may be on my bags or on my wallet. This is Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. This is a liquid lipstick and I use it as my base when I do my lip combos. Did Kat Von D sell her makeup line? I think she did, maybe a few years back. I think so. Okay, I have an eye drops to keep 
keep those eyes moist because my eyes get dry when I'm up too long. Okay. And then also I have a Maybelline Elixir. This Maybelline Elixir is very nice. It is fire and desire. The formula of these are impeccable. I love them. And I recommend them highly. Okay, and then we have the infamous vanilla buttercream. Infamous because it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, from Bath and Body Works. This is the Shea Butter Hand Cream. And I just love the scent of this. It smells like a birthday cake. Okay, yes it does, honey. All right, so now we have the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. Love that. We also have some double mint gum. Odie but goody, tried and true double mint gum. Can't ever go wrong with that. What else do we have in here? Oh, we have a Gucci Guilty. I hauled this in one of my recent hauls. This is the Gucci Guilty. This is not the Intense, but this is just the regular Gucci Guilty um, purse size, okay? And then we have the Dior. Okay, I love the packaging of these. This is in number 629. I'll have the information in the description box below for that. What else are we doing? This raggedy ass phone that I still have, I still haven't upgraded it. Keeping it real, keeping it 100, but I will upgrade it very soon. <laughs> Don't judge me because you can't, okay? My LV checkbook wallet. I've been carrying this for the past couple of months. Uh, what else, honey? Uh, my Sephora double-sided mirror. Okay, I've been rocking this. Well, rocking this. I use this every day. I carry it every day, rather. I got some loose money in here. A $1 bill. I have some singles. I don't know, maybe five of them. Okay, and then I have a couple of hundreds. Your girl likes to make money, baby. But I don't like for it to blow away. <laughs> and also I have my Magic Coach transportation business card. I always hand these cards out to my clients when I chauffeur them. I just give them my name and cell phone number just in case they need to reach me prior to their pickup time. So yeah, I have that in my bag as well. Okay, so I went to the dealer the other day and I got some things, just a couple of things. I got these uh, tire valve, what is it? Tire valve stem caps for my tires because I don't think I have any um, caps on my tire valves. So after I get my car wash, I'm gonna put these on my tires for once and for all. I just got these out of the car wash. These are called Japanese style peanuts. The chicken there said that they're good. She says she likes them, so this is my first time. I've never tried them, but I'm gonna eat them as I'm sitting here waiting for my car. And then, This is the case to my Gucci Sunnies. This case is pretty big too. Out of all my Gucci's, I think this is the largest case I have. So yeah. It's a blue case with that red Merlot interior, the Gucci pouch, and um, the paperwork, the cleansing cloth, cleansing cloth wiping cloth okay I think I left the I think the tag to these are in here here it is let's see what they retail for what are these so this is the style information if you could see all of that if not I'll just put it in the description 
Okay, so yeah, they retailed for six fifty, and I paid two fifty. All right, so yeah, I got these at Saks Off Fifth. And of course, and this is the the plastic that I like to keep my sunnies in. They came in this plastic, so I keep them in it. But yeah, that's everything that was in my bag, baby. That's everything in a nutshell. And my Starbucks coffee for today. Okay. Happy Sunday, everybody. Have a good one. I'll see you in my next video.